everyone it's friday and we're back with our second live show and i'm here with sandra hi everybody welcome back we are here and this is our second show and it's friday yes it is and i love fridays and i love fridays too <laughs> <laughs> where's my wine <laughs> i know i know exactly I'm with i didn't you. really pour before we started i know shooting. well <laughs> we may during the next piece but, but i hope you are and that's yeah, more important yeah right that's now. very important because i want you to just sit back and relax and you can listen to me because if i had something i probably wouldn't make sense anyway so. there you go <laughs> <laughs> i'll be doing it after with y'all yeah there you go i love it i anyway. love it okay you're really excited and i know why oh you know, yeah i'm look totally at this new excited piece. um this piece is uh, so so excited for it so amazing I've been thinking about doing angel pieces for a very long time, encouraged by some of my friends just, you know, to do my own version of it. But until recently, I was, I've been in the studio and, of course, a lot, um, not traveling to my shows and such. But um, this is really the first series that kind of poured out of me um, since we did a lot of self-isolation out of this, came out some really beautiful things. So um, this piece in particular is just probably the, the big, a big in physical uh, yeah, yeah, stature, is. but also just a big, big statement. Um, the piece is called Cherish. Cherish is the name of Cherish it? Cherish is oh, the name of it. I love that. I love that. I it's didn't... a 36 by 56. 36 by 56? Oh, yeah, yeah that is big. That is big. That's yeah, cool. it's, but it's a great um, size for, not, not terribly big for, you know, the general house, but it uh, could be a beautiful statement in like a foyer or a Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like over a, mantle even. Yeah, it's kind of like mm -hmm. a statement piece and an important part of a, a home. Very much so. And yeah. it, you know, I've always believed when pieces speak to you, um, you should really listen to that because um, art will, if it's in your home, will always have, you know, uh, an opportunity to speak to you every day and, and encourage you and uplift you as this piece does for me as well so yeah i love this i love this i love some of the some of the writing that you have in this um right i love the way mm -hmm. you just kind of what is the writing when do you how do you when you do that because you have that in your pieces mm -hmm. um talk I about do. how you kind of why is that happening in the piece i guess sure um yeah i understand what the question is um it, it when I'm painting, um, either before I really start the, you know, the subject, and even after the very end, um, I make marks, and I a lot of times I will write statements that kind of come to me intuitively. Just write in the, while you're in the middle of painting mm -hmm. it, you'll just jot something well, down. Well, yeah, panel. and even at the beginning of it, as I'm making kind of fluid marks. 
using my intuition on on the the kind of underpainting as they call it technically mm-hmm. and um, so I'll write things that inspire me almost a journal like quality yeah that's to what it, it feels like you kind of just kind of a stream of consciousness yes yeah exactly. whatever kind of comes to my heart and I want to put it on there and a lot of times what's super cool um, is that I love it when it I put it on there and it feels right and then down the road a collector potential collector Mm -hmm. of it will look at it and say oh my god those are the words that are meant for me those are the words that have spoken to me it's almost like this year kind of those kind of things those kind of moments it's like it it was you were meant to do it for that one person for them yeah yeah um so some of the words i don't know if everyone can read it um just i'm just gonna just like in the arms, you know, and, and yeah. comfort. I, oh, yeah, I kind of bolded that. that because I just want the viewer to look at that and feel and, and send that message of comfort to them. And You may find comfort, and then mm-hmm. comfort's like almost in different handwriting. Find comfort here and beautiful, and I need uh, distraction, and um, hopefully those distractions will... You know, either inspire you or grow you, and um, I know they do for me in the studio. So wow, that's really neat. It really does feel like mm-hmm. almost a stream of conscious, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden they appear, and then the fain- painting continues, mm-hmm. and then a little more appears, and then the painting's finished, and then yeah, then it hits one person out there. Usually that just that's- says, "God, that's like almost." Yeah. Those words belong to me. Yeah. And that, that's how an art piece finds its home. That's right. Which is and really, I've seen it time and time again. Yeah, yeah. It must be a wonderful experience for you to be able to connect with people like yeah, that. Yeah, it is so cool. And I, I honestly say that. That's a very, um, very much drives my why and why I do what I do. It's, um, you know, they talk about lately the why. And that is... Um, why I do this. I, I love so much to what I paint to have a connection with that person down the road. And it's, it's like an intersection of my work and their life kind of coming together. And it's just, it's the most beautiful experience I've ever um, had in my career as a painter. God, that's so amazing. That... Mm-hmm. And I truly mean that it is, um, it is almost godlike from the heavens, yeah. if I will. What a fortunate experience you get yeah. to have with that. I, yeah, I feel so lucky to to connect with and, and blessed to to feel that with other people. And where, where the art piece is a is an act of just intuition on your end, where you're mm-hmm. just letting go and letting it happen, and then it just ends up connecting and speaking to somebody else. You're almost mm-hmm. speaking with them. Yeah. As they're yeah, it's very much that experience. God, I just, I, I'm so moved by it. That's amazing. That's really very, uh, yeah. it's a real gift that you have and then you get to give to others. I just, I find that yeah, just wonderful. And I love this uh, subtleness of the angel too because she really is born out of my figurative series that I've been doing for years now. Um, if you go to my website, Sandra Meyer Gallery, you can see more of my figuratives. Yeah, your But she's figure. really an extension of that. Yeah. So uh, the way I approach it is like more of a humanity kind of um, mm-hmm. statement. Of, I get that. Or, I, or true love towards somebody or others. Um, I don't know. Whatever well, it's it, it's it interesting speaks. because you do see, you know, and I've said this before, you, you see angel art out there, you know, people, mm-hmm. artists doing angels, I guess. And, but your angels mm-hmm. have a real human quality to them. Mm-hmm. Um, they're angelic. They feel like fur from heaven, but mm-hmm. it's a human quality. And I, mm-hmm. I love that organic human connection. It, I know it's just like, mm-hmm. for, for example, like if you look at the wings, they're predominant, but they're, they're subtle. They're not. Yeah, they're like a wisp of an idea. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. And what I love, too, about the gold leaf, if I could just say, mm-hmm. the gold leaf and the wing, um, they're kind of a juxtaposition of materials. It's a very raw, 
you know, kind of gritty almost material that I use for that area and then apply the gold leaf as a, a sort of refined, you know, material. Mm-hmm. So that's the two coming together. And that's really what makes us as, as people is our raw experiences and combined with the refinement maybe of life and our experiences kind of wow. coming together as a statement. That's, wow. I've, I'm moved. That's amazing. It's yeah. true. I mean. But it is true. And I think it, it, I, I put into words what I experienced in the studio just now. You know, like mm-hmm. I don't necessarily think about those things when I'm, when I'm painting and applying all these materials, you know, to make something. But if I were to step back, that, that really is the process of, I think that's what I love about working with different things and different materials is that when they come together, it's, it's, a, it's like our own humanity, our own, what makes us humans in our lives, you know, and what makes our life is really experiences, rawness, and redefinement. And I think that's kind of what we're going through right now, yeah. too. That's exactly so, what we're going through. And that's which is beautiful. exactly what we're kind of discovering about ourselves or we, rediscovering right. about ourselves. Yeah. Wow. So, wow. It's a very special piece for me. That it way. is. Wow. This is, this is an amazing one. Yeah. It really is. And So, again, it's... Um, yeah, what are the sizes on it again? Again, the size is, I'm looking at some, uh, 36 by 56. Kind of drew a blank for a sec. 36 <laughs> by 56. And it's on wood panel. And the piece is called Cherish. 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 What beautiful name. Beautiful piece. Wow, that's amazing. I'm so excited. Our first piece. It is. It's very of exciting. This show is. Yep. And the big one. reveal. This is it, the final. That's piece. true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You mentioned in the newsletter something yeah. to the fact that you wanted to introduce it yep. in this show. So. Yeah, I wanted to especially talk about my process. So I hope everybody yeah. got a chance to really hear what I'm, I'm saying because it is very special to my heart. So yeah. Yeah. anyway, do we've got some close ups, I think. Yes, um, we do. What I'm going to do is while we set up for the next piece, um, I'll play some video of some real good close-ups of we took of this That's right great. before uh, so earlier just today. Sit, enjoy, and relax, and look at those close-ups of all the the wonderfulness going on in this piece. And we'll be right back. We'll be right back with another piece. And thank you again for being here. Um, you know, this has given me a great reason to like put on makeup and do my hair. Have you noticed from last time? <laughs> oh my God, you're cracking I just up. have to like throw in the jokes every now and then. Yeah, it's so true. <laughs> but that's life, right? Yeah, yeah, right. We've been like so isolated. You know? It's like, know. wow, look. But I'm so happy you're here and watching and hearing my process. I got so many great responses last week yeah. from the video, the first video. I think we got over 300 views, yeah. or something like yeah. that. According so to- that was like woo-hoo, success yeah. for me. Um, I just feel like I this is my way of reaching out right now. You know, um, I, I can't wait to get back to the shows and be face to face. But man, this is the next best thing, it and really I'm is. really glad for this format. So yes. thanks again for being here. 
Um, yes. I wanted to bring you to my next piece yes. that I what's have. The, what's this one? I love, I'm ready to talk about this one. What do we got here? <laughs> well, this one is um, obviously part of my botanical series, and we've got color right now. So um, lots of color going on right now around me, and this one is called Wild and Precious. Wild and, Wild precious. and precious. Wow. Okay, real quick. What size is it? Is okay, it 40 it's by a, 40? It's a 40 by 40. Yes, it is. And again, it's um, most of my pieces are on wood panel, but I'll, I'll bring that up so it's ready to hang. Yeah. Um, Wild and Precious Yeah, is, talk to me about it. I love the colors in this. Um, well, there's such a big influence now. I am always influenced by my surroundings and in georgia here spring is just going crazy <laughs> so um i have the i'm very fortunate i have a beautiful garden and yard um that i love in my studio yes. if you've seen any of my pictures on instagram you'll see my studio is surrounded by a you lot do of have an amazing garden. green <laughs> and flowers <laughs> so it's truly my inspiration and and spring it's really just you know, like the last piece last week was Summer's Day and it had more of those warmer colors. This one is definitely more of those fresh greens and pinks and things are just blooming and it growing. It looks like spring. I mean, it really does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, and that's really, you know, sp spring is in the air and uh, it's... Um, such a great time of renewal and vibrancy to me. Um, so yeah, let's let love. them just take a look at that. Look, look at the detail in this. There's just mm -hmm. so much going on without it overwhelming. It's very, very comfortable mm -hmm. with all this detail. It's like this um, just almost... I don't want to call it chaos, but just very comfortable, complex mm -hmm. setting that every single part of it belongs there and gives you just this real sense of kind of new, fresh kind of beginning like you were talking about. Mm -hmm. God, I just love this detail. There must be a lot of layers in this piece. Yeah, there is. Um, this is my uh, paper technique uh, that I use for the botanicals, which involves a lot of layering. Um, is that where I get that depth? I mean, you've done mm -hmm. that before, and that depth seems to come through. Yeah. And yeah, each layer, it's, it's, if you think about it, it's sort of a manual Photoshop. <laughs> a manual Photoshop. Yeah. I love that. Photoshop with a brush, folks. I love right. That. <laughs> where we manually have to do it. It's hand, you know, and that's the beauty of having something handcrafted, you mm -hmm. know. It's, it did, um, it, there's a lot of work involved, a lot of laboring. It's, it's an intense process to layer all these papers on top of each other, and mm -hmm. each layer has a bit of the piece um, that you see now. So it's... Um, it's a beautiful process as well. It, it looks like a lot it of fun. Unfolds. It, looks, yeah. it looks like a lot of fun to do. Yeah. I mean, you speak of it like a lot of work, but it mm -hmm. certainly looks like. Oh no! Uh, I mean, my work is fun. <laughs> yeah, you have a fun job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do have yeah, a and I meant work meaning like um, there's in the studio. Sometimes there's an intensity, you know. Um, there's a sweat and blood and tears almost sometimes mm -hmm. to get. It's like you want to get there to that moment that you have, you know, in your mind of where you want to go, where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And that does involve a little bit of intensity. But isn't that true with life, though? Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I always parallel my painting with, like, analogies of life because, it, you know, to where we want to be, it does take some, some blood and sweat and tears. It takes some time and takes effort. So, uh, you know, I... I love that because I pour my whole self into it mm -hmm. and at the end I get this beautiful beautiful piece so that's and, amazing that's very true mm -hmm. I mean it's a, yeah uh, you know a lot like this piece there's a lot to making your life what you want it to be and yeah. there was a lot to making this piece what you want it to be right and 
that connection again, that connection you get with folks with this is just right. a wonderful, wonderful gift. That's amazing. And I if I that. could just jump on, you know, dovetail on what you just said. Hmm. Um, I'm going to show everybody what was on the back. Oh, yes. That's, because that's I think right. What, you, you occasionally it, do this. Go right. ahead. Right. Yeah. Occasionally I'll write stuff on the back, and um, they're kind of like little surprises. So. I love this. Yeah. They're fun, and people love it. What is this? Okay, so you got the title, Wild and Precious. Right. Wild and Precious and then, is a title, and kind of going off what you just said about that, what are you going to do with your one wild and precious life? Um, it's a quote, one of my favorites, from Mary Oliver, who is um, one of my favorite poets. She speaks wow. of life and nature and deep things like that, that oh. I, I tend to, to go there very easily with stuff like that. So. Yeah, I love that. And then, yeah. so Mary Oliver, the poet, mm -hmm. that's her quote. Yeah, and that is her quote. And that's amazing. Like, you're working on the piece, you're working through the piece, and I'm, a, I'm a, making an assumption here, but I'm assuming kind of the title or the, the sense of it starts coming alive, and then mm -hmm. you end up titling the piece and writing a little something mm -hmm. on well, the Well, yeah, I'll see a quote, and I'll think about it, and, um, you know, think of what that means to me. Um, and that, that question right there, what will you do with your one wild and precious life, um, makes me really think about, you know... Uh, what am I going to do with my day to make a difference? What am I going to do with my life to make a difference in my own self, my children, my family, my legacy that I want to leave? So that's what this painting, um, that quote coming together means for me. And uh, That's amazing. Again, the way yeah. you get to connect... Yeah, that's with folks through your art. It's yeah, just such it's really a, what it is. Such so. an amazing, amazing thing you do. And let me put this back. What a cool! <laughs> I love that. Great so. thing about your job. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just a. Fun it is thing. great. Um, I love doing that, and I love again the connection um, with my paintings to people Gosh, and where they're at in their lives. So this one, so. again, is a 40 by 40, mm -hmm. and wild and precious. Wild and precious. So, uh, so wow. I bet we have some... We have one more piece we're going to do, but I, I'm Still going to play some... Uh, going to show, sorry, some close-ups of this piece while we're getting ready for the next one, because there's a lot of great detail on this, and I'm going to show some video of that while we're setting up the next one. So this one's Wild and Precious. Wild and Precious, thank you. All right, we'll be back with the next one. All right. Okay, all we are back, and mm. we are back here. Um, we just had a sip of wine. <laughs> Honestly, we did. Woo. Yeah, and um, and we just set up the next the next piece, which is the last piece we're going to do for this show here. Yes, it is. And um, thank you again for being here. Yes, and this one is got a lot of detail. Very cool. Very sweet looking. Tell me, what's the name of this piece? Okay, uh, this piece is called She Blooms. It's a 40 by 40. Actually, I think it's a 36 by 36. Oh, sorry. That's yes. all right. You just keep painting them and I'll keep measuring them. Don't worry yes. about it. <laughs> oh, I had 
that number in the last one. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but no, no. Yes. yes. It's a 36 by 36, and it's um, full of mixed media. Yes. Mm. Yes. Some of my favorite things to do. It's very, you know, just, uh, I just love getting and into what the collage. Is, what is mixed media? Just for everyone. Okay, kind so, of explain yeah, because um, some people don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, mixed media is just a painting that involves more than one medium. Like a medium could be acrylic or oil mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, but when you start to include more, um, say two or more, right, um, right, okay. then it becomes mixed. They call so, it mixed media. Yeah. Okay. And this definitely has two or more in it. Yeah, um, for sure. So, um, a lot of uh, wonderful textures in this piece, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And as you get closer to it and you'll run it, uh, the video over it, you can yeah. definitely begin to see how... Oh, there is, yes, yeah, so there is just quite a bit of texture. how, yeah, just how, gra you can just almost grab it. I love it because it's so tactile to me. Mm -hmm. I love that kind of stuff. God, it almost looks like um, you're sculpting. Yeah. It's, an, or it's a painter being a sculptor, kind of. Correct, feel, exactly. Like that. That's how it feels. Um, Gosh, that is stunning. Stunning, stunning. Wow. So there's a lot of um, paper materials that I collect through the years, whether it be I go crazy in like paper stores and vintage stores and wow, just um, even my own. If you see the music notes in there at some point, you, it's, right. you know, just all kinds of stuff. Why the music notes? Why the music notes? I know why. Tell them why. Well, um, <laughs> for a few reasons. Uh, I used to be a musician, so music really speaks to me. And um, it's also representative of her, um, the lyrical quality of this piece. The, it's almost as if she's hearing music and dancing for mm. the first time. Very playful. Right? Yeah, it's very, very cool. playful. and. That's why I, I love to include that part of it because she looks like she's just spinning and feeling free, like, like she's a little girl, you know, that's transforming into a beautiful young woman. And um, it really speaks to my girly side, you know, because I love wearing, I'm either in just paint clothes from head to toe, you know, just covered in paint. Or I love wearing dresses and going out, and this speaks to that side of me. Yes. So. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, it just reminds me of this kind of this um, transformation. And I think the butterflies are very symbolic of that. Um, much like a little girl is cocooned into her home and you know surrounded by love and in her parents and just or it within herself even, loving herself and learning to love herself. And then one day that cocoon breaks and becomes this beautiful butterfly that is ready for the world and, uh, and her new life, you know. So it's um, the series of butterflies in inspirational. Space. It's growing into just amazing Detail kind of representing just growing into a, an adult, mm -hmm. a more a richer life, a fuller life. God, I love that. Yeah, with the detail. In this. Yeah. She's coming out and experiencing stuff on her own and her own paving her own way in her Gosh. in a new life here. You know, and it also could be for the the older woman. You know, now that I think about it, like the woman who's redefining herself, you know, and discovering new things about herself now that she's a little older. And, you know, we, we call that our third chapter. Um, wow, I love that. Yeah. So, you know, it could relate to any real, really any stage in, in, in a person's life. That's kind of starting over right. or starting new. Right. It's like it's we're like, always kind of growing into who we are. Yeah. Becoming. Exactly. Kind of the way a butterfly just blooms. And yeah. I get the title. She blooms. She yep. continues to grow. Wow, this is, I can't believe, just uh, the amazing, I guess, mixed media, like you were starting out. Uh -huh. Just the detail in this is just, wow, look at that. Yeah, a lot of layering in her dress. What an amazing...
amazing piece. Mm -hmm. An amazing 36 by 36, a square. Yeah, a square, and there's lots of wonderful, as we say, mixed media in it, uh, papers and spray paint even, and um, stenciling, writing, just all the things that I feel when I'm in my studio painting. And I can't help but notice, I'm reminded of what, you know, you sold a couple of pieces this week, earlier uh -huh. this week. Yeah. And um, one of them was a square. And she said, I love the square because I can put it anywhere in the home. I don't have to worry if it's a vertical or horizontal piece. And she was mm -hmm. going on, uh, mm -hmm. she was just going on about how she loves the idea of a square because she, mm -hmm. she'll keep the art forever. It's something mm -hmm. that's going to belong to her forever. So she loves the idea that she can kind of put that square anywhere in the home. Mm -hmm. it's, you're not limited to a s certain spot in the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah right. Like, it's got to be cool. horizontal or it's got to be a vertical right. piece. Squares just kind of fill that. And it looks really contemporary. And um, yeah, I do love it because a lot of my cl clients and customers, they um, will put it over, you know, a typical place too would be over like a dresser or you know, a bed, anywhere, really. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a lot of women put it over their bathtubs. Oh, I could totally <laughs> see Especially this. the feminine p pieces that I do because right. um, they, you know, they they can escape and go into that world. I get that. And have that beautiful, you know, image to yeah. look at. Because you like to run and hide sense. in the bathroom and take your baths. So you're <laughs> yes, in there a lot. I so do. you better have some cool art. I'm one I of those. That. I get that. I get that. I am one of those, so yeah, I am with them <laughs> yeah, all the way. That. I love that. Well, she blooms, man. That's she great. She blooms. That's great. 36 by 36. And um, boy, what a fun way to kind of end our second episode of yeah. our live show. Wow. Yeah, so um, stay right. tuned. I think we're going to um, make this a thing. Yeah, to, I say we keep you know, doing this every Friday yeah. night and kind of walk through what happened the, the latest week with your work. And right. it's kind of and a gallery walk right here. Yep. Uh, and in in their living rooms. I hope you all are having a glass of wine or something. <laughs> or relaxing. Yeah, I hope so too. And, and don't forget, if you're not on my email list, I'd love to just say really quick to uh, hop on there and, and check it out and check out my website at sandrameyergallery.com. Sure. And then you can join my email list there. Yeah. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, it's so, kind of a, I think a lot of people ways. love to kind of connect with you that way. Yeah, well, the neat thing about the email list is you get first views of things and um, anything we're doing, special in the studio, right? We're, right. It's on there. So um, that's a nice way to just kind of um, kind of announce new works and, and things mm -hmm. that I'm doing, you know, a little bit more. So um, check it out and jump on there. I hope you do. I love that. And, um, Stay tuned for next week, and we'll, yeah. um, we'll do another show. Again. We'll do another show next Friday, um, and uh, what I'll do is much like with the other pieces, I'll play a little video oh, yeah. with some great close-ups of this piece uh, as we're saying goodbye, and we will see you all next week. All right, take care. Have a good week. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye.